welcome to a puzzle master today i'm going to be showing you the solution for the hanayama helix puzzle which means i'm going to show you the one position that you need to be in to separate that ring from those two spinning helix pieces and then how you can do the reverse to put it right back into its original helix puzzle position now the helix puzzle is a level five out of six on the hanayama difficulty scale which makes it a level nine out of ten on the puzzle master difficulty scale and if you haven't already got the Helix Puzzle for yourself, then you can pick it up from our website, puzzlemaster.ca. And without further ado, let's get on with that Helix solution. Okay, so here we have a an almost fully assembled Helix Puzzle. And I say almost because these two helixes are just in slightly the wrong position and and that's because i need to show you or it'll help me show you a certain move that you might require given that these two helix puzzle pieces can be in different positions relative to each other so for the actual solution we need to be in one specific position on each side of the helix now you may or may not have noticed already that of all these three gaps, or five gaps, sorry, two of them are slightly different. You've got the one that you're starting up here, and then you've got the one down here, which has this little gap in on both sides. So you've got this little gap here, and on this side, this little gap in here. And we need to use those two gaps to actually separate this ring piece. Now the first thing we need to do is get it so that our ring is in one of those positions. So we're going to move the ring around until we're here. We're now in this gap which has the gap in its sort of edge piece here. And once we're in this position, we now need to be in the right position on the bottom side. Now this is hard to see when I, if I sort of swap from side to side. So I'm going to stay on this side as much as I possibly can. And I'm just going to check a certain position from a side on view of the back piece. So now what we need is we've got this gap down here and relatively the other side we should have the gap in here. Now currently I don't have that so I need to move around to get it until the gap is up here. Now I, I want to move around in a way where I don't lose my position on this side and how the way we're going to do that is by focusing on this side the whole time. And then once we've done a move, we're then going to check whether we're in the right position on the opposite side. So what we're going to do is we're going to move around here. So we've stayed, we've done one move of the ring, but we've stayed in the gap that has the gap in it. And what we're then going to do is rotate the back helix piece. And we're going to check whether we're in the right place. And we are now in the right place because the gap on the back piece is in here now so we've got the gap down here and we're in that gap and then we've got the gap back here up in this position so now we have the position that we need to do the one move that is required to get this ring separated from this helix piece and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the ring so that we half come through this gap in here and once we do that all we then need to do is just do a very very slight turn of the front piece in an anti-clockwise way or sorry clockwise way and when, once we're in this position you'll then be able to slightly twist the ring piece and once you get to a position where you can slightly twist the ring piece you're going to hold it in its twisted position like this and all we're going to do is turn the top helix piece anti-clockwise for a whole one turn, if that makes sense, so a fifth of the way around. So we went from here to here with the top piece. And then we're going to carry on turning for another half turn. And we get to here, where the silver piece is now in the gap on this side. And from here, we can just wiggle that ring piece off and separate it just like that. And for putting the helix puzzle back together, again, the starting orientation of these two helix pieces is very important. So we need to get that right or that position right to start with. The good news is that it's much easier to get it right when it's separated than it is to get them both right when, when the ring is 
in place. So what we need is we're going to have the gap in this sort of right hand star shaped corner here and on the opposite side the gap is going to be in the same position as it was when we were taking it apart so behind here. So we've got the top gap here, back gap here and again if you're not in the right position it's very easy to move this one around. We're then going to take the ring piece and we're going to sort of half turn the helix to this position and then from here what we're going to do is just going to slide in until this piece is sort of in this position so it's almost perpendicular if this was a straight line and this was a straight line it's almost perpendicular on the flip side we need to be sort of laying parallel with that piece or with this hole that has the gap in and once we've got that position we're just going to stay on this side for the whole time now and we're going to sort of close the gap by turning the top piece clockwise but when we do turn it clockwise we want this uh, part of the ring to sort of jump up above the gap and onto this ridge here so when we close it we then need to jump up into this position here and you'll probably need to hold it in place hold the ring in place that is and once you've got this position, you're then going to carry on turning the top helix clockwise. And this sort of naturally happens, sort of those pieces sort of, uh, the, the ring sort of turns itself once you're in the right position. And once you've got it back to where it should be, you can separate it out from there. Close the, both the helixes so it creates that sort of original position. And to get to the actual proper original position, we just have to twist around this piece and around this piece until we get into this corner here and because of the way you put it back together we've got the helix engraving back here again that is the proper original Hanayama helix puzzle position so there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the helix puzzle. For me, the hardest part of this is getting in that original or that starting position to be able to do the turn. Being able to move around one of the helixes while you are in the right position on the opposite helix side is quite confusing. So how I've laid it out in this video with only looking at one side and sort of just checking the back for whether the groove is in or the gap is in the right place is hopefully and what I feel the easiest way of actually doing that. And once you've got it in that right position, the turning the ring whilst turning the helix piece sort of anti-clockwise almost does itself for taking it apart. And for putting it back together, as long as you've got that perpendicular position on one side and the parallel position on the opposite side, and as long as you jump up from that gap in the gap onto the border, then the rest of it sort of does itself. You turn the front helix clockwise and the ring sort of turns itself. And hopefully this has helped you solve the Helix puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the Helix puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I will see you later.